Hello students, welcome to Swapna Physics Classes. In this lecture, I am going to explain you one more important short answer question for your Telangana State First Year Intermediate IPE Examination. And the question is, show that the trajectory of an object thrown at certain angle with the horizontal is a parabola. Okay, here we have an object which is thrown, which is thrown in horizontal direction and it makes an angle theta okay the object thrown at certain angle with the horizontal okay that means this object which is in motion makes an angle theta with the horizontal okay let us consider an object which is projected which is projected or thrown and it makes the projectile motion it makes the projectile motion what is the projectile motion after throwing an object what happens it will travel through air it will travel through air and it lands at some point this is the starting point this is the ending point okay the motion of the object between the starting point and the ending point is known as a projectile motion. After throwing the object, the motion of this object in air is a projectile motion. So let's consider an object. Here I am considering the rectangular, the rectangular coordinate system. Okay, this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. And I had thrown an object. I had thrown an object. And if u is the u is the velocity vector of this object, and it makes an angle theta with the horizontal axis. Okay. And if this is some point P, P x comma y. Why I'm taking x comma y? Why? Because the motion is along x-axis as well as along y-axis. The object's motion is along x-axis as well as along y-axis. That means here the object is moving through some certain height. This object moves to a certain height as well as it travels through some distance along x-axis. Okay, that means the motion is along x-axis as well as along y-axis. And if the displacement, if x is the displacement along x-axis and y is the displacement along y-axis. Okay, you can resolve this vector, velocity vector into two components. One is along x-axis and the other is along y-axis. Opposite to theta, we have u sin theta. Why? Why? Uh, what is sin theta? Sin theta. What is sin theta? Opposite by hypotenuse. Here opposite to theta is some p n and this is the origin O. P n by hypotenuse is u. Therefore this p n is equal to u sin theta. P n is equal to u sin theta, right? And here we have u cos theta. What is cos theta? Cos theta is base by hypotenuse. What is the base we have? O n by hypotenuse is u. Therefore, this O n is equal to u cos theta. U cos theta. Right? So, here we have u sin theta. Here we have u cos theta. As this is a rectangular coordinate system, the distance here, this distance is equal to this distance and as these are parallel to each other, therefore the opposite sides are equal in magnitude and also having same direction, therefore here you have u sin theta, here you have u sin theta. Okay, this velocity vector is resolved into two 
components one is along horizontal direction and the other is along vertical direction okay and you have to remember one thing in horizontal direction in horizontal direction the velocity velocity always remains constant and in vertical direction vertical direction it varies with the height velocity changes or varies with the height right at this position this will be the height and at this point this will be the height and at this point this will be the height as the height changes the velocity changes that means acceleration also changes and the acceleration is always directed in downward direction due to the acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity whenever a, an object is thrown in vertical direction thrown in vertical direction there will be a force acted upon that object in downward direction because of the acceleration due to gravity okay as this acceleration due to is gravity is in downward direction here i am taking it as minus g acceleration i am taking it as minus g as the velocity changes the acceleration we have here is minus g and here as the velocity is, remains constant acceleration is equals to zero and if we consider a point p and x is the displacement along x axis and t is the time taken by the object to reach this point p okay and y is the displacement along y axis and and t is the time taken t is the time taken to reach this point p along vertical direction now using the equations of motions that is s equals to ut plus half at square half at square we have two two different velocities one is along horizontal direction and the other is along vertical direction okay in horizontal direction what is the displacement we have x which is equal to and the velocity is ux and the time taken is t plus the as acceleration is equal to zero this term will be equal to zero therefore x is equal to what is ux we have ux is u cos theta u cos theta into t this is equation number 1 x equal to u cos theta into t is the displacement of the object along x axis and u cos theta is the velocity along x axis and coming to the vertical component here what is the displacement we have y y is equal to this will be u y into t plus half into minus g into t square where acceleration is equal to minus g along vertical direction therefore this y is equal to what is u y we have u y is equal to u sin theta u sin theta into t minus half g t square this is equation number 2 take a screenshot pause the video and take a screenshot we have to 
find out the path of this motion path of this projectile motion what is the path of the projectile motion path is nothing but a trajectory okay so using these two equations using one and two equations we are going to find out the path or the trajectory of the projectile motion okay so what are the two equations we have x equals to u cos theta into t and y equals to u sin theta into t minus half g t square okay so using this equation i am going to eliminate t okay eliminate eliminate t okay t is equal to x by x by i am bringing this towards left hand side x by u cos theta now you just substitute the value of t in this equation substitute value of t in equation number 2 therefore this y is equal to u sin theta into what is t we have x by u cos theta x by u cos theta minus half g into what is t square x square by u square cos square theta okay now this y is equal to u you get cancelled we left with x into sin theta by cos theta is nothing but tan theta tan theta minus half g minus x square by 2 into u square cos square theta into g okay i'm writing x square here for convenience purpose only okay did you copy this so this equation in this equation as theta is constant as theta is constant theta acceleration due to gravity and the velocity vector all these are uh, terms are constant i am taking this tan theta let's consider this tan theta as a and this g by 2 u square cos square theta as b okay now this equation equation number 3 becomes y equals to a into x a into x x i am taking this minus sign also okay a into x plus b into x square so this equation is just similar to the parabola equation what is the equation of parabola y equals to ax plus bx square this is the equation of equation of parabola if you compare both these equations this is similar to this equation right therefore you can say that the path or the trajectory of the object which is projected which is projected is a parabola is a parabola okay uh, this is the explanation for this question and if you have any doubt you just write in the comment box i will definitely reply to your doubts okay and whoever didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel and also click on the like button and share with maximum number of people possible okay bye